to all listeners of our show, Unpopular Opinion. We are back again today with a brother of mine on the couch. <laughs> to introduce myself once again is Aba Ayaleo Amlak Usilo Saman, Zinyo Lengwen, Uboya Bengwe, Uchayo Ngumbonu Tukutu Manjano, Tumfu Buki Pukete. Nizalwa Intumbi Asema Pele, Numa Kubon, Ulanga Lukulungu Kubon, Numa Fungwen, Ujambu Lunombigaz, Ndabezi. Uh, we have my brother here who will be the, the mouthpiece or the spokesperson of the great legend we know here in South Africa, Ubaba uh, Uvusamazulu, who credo mutwa. And we are going to learn a bit of history and learn a bit of history that was not really made history. Uh, but before we go there, we'd like to give thanks to our fellow brother of the House of Africa for accommodating us and giving us this lovely space to have our conversation. Uh, don't be surprised with the change of venue or background. We are still the same people doing the same thing, searching for the same answers. Uh, we give thanks, House of Africa, for your accommodations. Uh, I won't introduce you <laughs> because me and you are strangers today. Uguti si azana, I accept na mshanja. Nizo nigela guwe gemta kababa. Uzazi se na bantu baguaz niabo. All right. Bimelang. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Vitola Kakile Bohan Sentle. Waasilo. I'm here on behalf of Kremoto Cultural Village and at the same time as one of those who learned under his, uh, his teachings to come and represent him. Hopefully this interview is one of the best. Give thanks. Yeah, welcome again, my brother. Uh, we are talking about a heavyweight here. We are talking about Tinsimbejezing. Masi Kuluma gang is Logi, she sit a inja matam, inja yeke. We know his Ubabu Credo Mutu has influenced a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been a staunch spokesperson of the African tradition, the African mythologies, uh, African history, and we know he's known as the great Sanusi of Africa. In fact, uh, just to ask a question, uh, just to start off our conversation, he's known as the last Sanusi of Africa, or Gwazul. Could you explain that title and how he becomes the last? I, I don't want to say he is the last Sanusi or was the last Sanusi. I mean, you should remember, as African people, we have our own gifts and our own talents. Some, they, they say that Sanusi are not, so I cannot say he's the last. Because of, there are other ones who are still hidden there, who are not yet been shown outside. Because of Kredo was popular, and because of the books and the things that he, that he was doing, and the prophecies, people decided to make him the last prophet. Okay. okay. No, makes perfect sense. So it's not something that he himself Proclaim. No, 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 no. It's something that people around him who were listeners to him declared on his behalf. Yes. Which Gemanje leads to the question what is then a Sanusi? Well, according to my understanding, a Sanusi, we speak about somebody who's so special, who can be able to see beyond a small and a thing. Typical example, where we've got prophets. Mm. We can be able to prophesy probably a human being or a smaller portion of the country. But a Sanus is somebody who is beyond, who can see the future of the world itself. Somebody who can be able to use all sorts of things to help or to detect whatever is affecting you. To become a Sanus is not something simple that is become whereby when you become a traditional healer, or well, the one that they call a weakness, you say, mm -hmm. it is not, the chain is not the same 
as the chain of a, of a sinus. Mm. With a sinus, there are certain things that you have to, they have to test you. Typical example, one of the things that they have to test you to become a sinus, you have to eat the, the, some part of a dead, of a dead cop and be tested with other things. And then with a sangoma, it's another story. Mm. Mm. That's how I understand the sinus. No, I, 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 I hear your explanation of it. Mauti <laughs> Sanus must be tested by going through a ritual of eating parts of a corpse. Yes. That's a human corpse or an animal we corpse? We speak about a human corpse whereby they are testing you, they are testing you. Ma because of, remember, there are certain secrets that you don't have to speak about. So for you to be tested, they've got to do uh, to go another way around. Typical example, when you go to, for initiation, we are entering Ulobola. Mm. There are certain things that they do that you're not supposed to speak about that mm. definitely will be able to stand for that. That is why when you become a scientist, it's another story. They need to be sure that whether are we training somebody who's going to take this as a real person who's going to do that or somebody who's going to fake things and take things. I don't just think I want to be that and do it. So you got to be tested. If, if I hear you correctly, it's a test of seriousness. It's definitely. More than a ritualistic importance well the first thing is it's important but it's more like if we become if you want to form a, a team of football typical example let mm. me let's, let's take a football we need to know if, if ever we, if we are going to perform the ritual we have to skip the the, the the let's say we have to skip the fire mm. we need to check are you really interested going to be able to do what are you going to do or are you here just to pay back or have you been, have you been sent mm. to come and see what we are doing and take it and take it outside okay trust in the world very much important. In, in, in the world of of, of knowledge the secret societies yes which is equivalent to the schools of the traditional healers yes. the so-called witch doctors yes which, the so-called witch, the so-called called witch, witch Abelu, Abelu, the white this god, is white people yes. who who say he says, these are witch doctors. Yes, I, now I want to get to that also because now the term witch doctor, because Credo Mutua at some point was known as Africa's great witch doctor. Yes. But now, when I studied etymology, yeah. the breaking down of language, yes. there is nothing in African language like. As you explain now, Isanus or Inyang or Isango, none of those words have any connotation with witchcraft. Yes. But when you look at the origins of the word pharmacy, <laughs> you'll be surprised. Yeah. The word pharmacy comes from a Greek word, pharmakos. Yes. Which comes from a Latin word, well, Latin pharmakos, which comes from a Greek for Machio, yeah. which means witchcraft. Yes. Apothecary, spellcaster, a charm, dark wizard, magician. But none of these meanings have any connection with what we in Africa say, Inyanga, Isangoma, Imboni, Isanusi, Ngaka. Can you explain that to me? What is, why, why, why did we become <laughs> called witchcraft <laughs> practitioners? <laughs> I like what you said. The Greek, in the Greek term, you spoke about those, uh, you are not speaking about Africa. You are not <laughs> speaking about us. We are not part of that. Remember, we, the people of Africa, mm. but when I speak about Africa, I'm, I'm speaking about Eurocentric Africa. Okay. Remember, <laughs> when we say Africa, this Africa is... There are two Africans. Yeah, we got Eurocentric Africa, but that was discovered oh. by those when they come like... Okay. Kind of, okay. Coming to, yes, they say it's a dark land. When you speak about uh -huh. Africa, we speak about... The one that I speak about, it's more like we can say Kemet. Okay. Whereby there are still parts uh -huh. in African country that have never been charged. Mm -hmm. That doesn't know anything about civilization. Mm -hmm. When me and you come in, there's like speaking, it's like, who are these people? Are they our people? Mm -hmm. Because of they still live a primitive life. Mm -hmm. For us, we still be living in another life. Mm -hmm. So for us, as Africans, as people of Kemet, we don't kill, we heal. Mm -hmm. We were taught to be the witches of this world because of the miracles or the things that we are doing that are new to them. That, that they, they are strange to them. Mm. They, they decided to create that and give it to us. 
That's how they say which doctor, because they never understand. Because of remember oh, that they are doctors. They are using certain things, whereas we rely from the nature itself. Mm. We are the people of the nature. Mm. We are provided everything by the nature itself. Mm. That is why we always say water is the number one medicine more than anything in this world. Whereas in the Western world, penicillin is the number one medicine. And penicillin, the word itself tells you where it's originating from. The penicillin. ceiling. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. But Nyabuzo, yeah. Let's let's get to the man himself. Yes. yes. Who is Vusama Zulu? Who, Who is Credo Muta? Uh, we are African, right? Yes. Let's we say have a, a because continuous let's existence. Say for those who at least doesn't understand. Yeah. Who was physically? Okay. But who is? Who is spiritual? spiritual? Let's we will get let let's start who was. Yeah. Let's start with who was. Kelemoto was a shaman, okay. historian, playwright, architect, painter, sculptor, and a traditional healer. An overall artist. An overall artist. And then remember, for him to become an artist, it was something that was he boy was born out of. It's a gift. From her birth, from his birth, mm -hmm. it's not something that he went to school for. Mm -hmm. That is Krenomoto, who was crazy with Krenomoto. That is why he created that village, Kwaka Island, mm -hmm. so that he can showcase what his he art. can be able to do, his artworks. Isuga Plenziso, where, 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 where does he come from? Where was he born? <laughs> A minister. Yeah. And yeah, he was a Christian minister. Yeah, yeah. his a father for, well, he wanted him to be like that. Well, Kilimoto wanted to become a teacher. Mm. And his prophet well, he wanted to become a teacher. So because of the illness that he had, and then remember, Ubu Kosibaki, Pela Pela U Ildos, Tata Ildos, Ubu Kos, Kibalu, Tata Ubu Kos, Bagin, Bagin, Ubu Sanusibak, Agab Tati, Guamutwa. Obaga shave. And I said, Obago, Mawa, Moba Yen, Uba Uba Bawa, Kwam cast as a bastard. Remember, I was coming a bastard screaming. He passed to Mton and Zen, was a long as a lava, if she am shattu, and I give on as a long of me, am shattu. That was Mr. Mutagel. Uh, the Zulu Shaman, yes, a book by. Obaba Kredomut. Chapter 1. The way of the witch doctor, how I became a Sangom. The illness. The story started long ago when I was studying to become a school teacher way back in the 1930s. In those days, school teaching was an honorable profession amongst the Zulu people. Like you are saying, he wanted to become a teacher. If you were able to read and to write, and if you were able to, uh, you had to be trained to stand in front of a classroom full of children and teach them the miracle of writing, reading and arithmetic. You were a greatly honored person. I had desperately wanted to be a teacher, had studied hard and was close to reaching my goal. And then he goes on to tell the story of how he got sick. Yes. So I had carried on with my studies to become a school teacher. I wanted to show my father and the rest of my family who tended to look down upon me that I could become a teacher and bring great honor to my father's name. But one day when I was walking to the mission school, I was attacked with a sudden weakness, a feeling of nausea and dizziness that was like no other feeling I had ever had before. I suddenly felt weak and I sat down on a rock thinking that the feeling would pass away, but it didn't. This is how his journey starts? Exactly as I said, that he started to be sick, 
then don't become sick, then what happened is this father never believed in him. He never believed in being taking, a missionary yeah, minister. Being, being a missionary, yeah. mm. he never believed that a person who's ill has to be taken. In fact, at first, first, he thought that most of, uh, uh, Baba was joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, like... Well, I think, I think a lot of people in South Africa, yeah. 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 have had that experience where the families think that, mm, it's like, no, we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. That song shows with teen Africans before. You know one thing about us and I love about us? It's not easy for us to just accept. Because if we say one plus one is two, then I go and say one plus one is two. Mm. I need to find the blueprint of that. Okay. And why understand is why. One plus one, two. Yes, so that I can know that definitely you are sick. So with Muta, it was like there was weakness, he says, dizziness. Then when it comes to like maybe this boy doesn't want to work and all the stuff. Yeah, he said, yeah, Villa, Papumala, Pumakona, Villa, Papuno Genzan. So it's cut mercy yeah, because of the father never believed in taking the child. One missionaries were people, they never believed in taking the person to the hospital. There's a book that they believed in that was written by certain people, pocket the lady of the world. Christian name. science. Yeah, yeah. So they had to read the book. They believed when they read that book, you will, you will be healed, <laughs> which is something else. Probably it's their belief. But it's not our belief, it's their belief. We, 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 we still have that today. We are saved by the grace of God if you just accept. I mean, it's remember, the same concept. as a South African, <laughs> as a South African, whether you can be, as long as you are a South African, born under South African and then to ID, mm. whether you can, you can declare yourself as a Rastafarian, you declare yourself as a, as, as a Kemet or whatever that is, you're a Muslim. But as long as you are born in South Africa, especially as a black child, you fall under Christianity. Remember, <laughs> you like it or not, you fall under Christianity. Because of first, it starts with the name that you have. I'm offended. Don't be offended, <laughs> bro. Because of, remember, this thing was forced to us. South Africa has been taken by the Christians. That is why this thing was introduced to us in schools. Okay. We were forced to eat this. Uh -huh. That is why when you go to school, if you didn't have a Christian name, you will never be accepted at school. Mm -hmm. Hence, I'm saying, individually, you can claim. Yeah. But when you go to the papers, <laughs> you fall under Christianity. Now, you, you're bringing me to another point. <clears throat> yeah. Being raised Christian, yes. being influenced by his Christian father, being forced into the Christian life by yes. his father, he discovers now he's got a gift. Yes. He goes to his training. Uh, along his training, he meets his grandfather now. No, remember, he, uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't knew that he, he's got the calling. Uh -huh. Because of, according to, 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 to his teachings, that he, when, because if he could touch you, you would be healed. Mm -hmm. Sorry to touch the mic. Uh, so he has, he, her, her aunt, is the one when he came and found out the children is sick and the father is not doing anything, always in the book. I say, let me take the boy with me because of remember, mm. he was, was not the only one mm. who was lent, mm. who, who was a traditional leader, even the aunt was a traditional leader. Yeah, then he said, let me take the boy and see what can I do for him to help him. That is the aunt who discovered that this boy has a gift. Mm. We got to make sure that we, we do it. Mm -hmm. That is when he realized it. That's when he started. Then he started getting realized. the chain and other things. Then they started to unfold. Then they came late. We need to acknowledge the aunt who managed. I want, I want us to get to the aunt. I want us to get to the aunt. And what started to happen. Uh, Still in, in chapter one of the same book, the Zulu Shaman, who he comes in contact with his aunt. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a story, it's a beautiful story. If you read it, get the book and read it for yourself, you'll see the story of Ukredo Moto. Here's the problem now. A Christian boy who was raised <laughs> Christian yeah. with Christian ideologies and a Christian background, yeah. suddenly is attacked by sickness yeah. that is not understood by the Western doctors, yeah. that it cannot be cured by the Christian scientists in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now, as a last resort, this child goes to Isango. Yeah. And it so happens that the father of this household yeah. 
ikaba ngisinto the colloquial the wrong translation the mistranslation of the word ikaba yeah. would be illiterate had not to create yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. would be the, 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 the false no. interpretation no, yes but actually ikaba lo muntu in the tosa it would be ikaba mbona yeah. meaning ufaka the red ochre yes meaning he's sticking to their traditions is unwavering in their traditions definitely so this grandfather yikab yes who is totally against christianity yes and continuously in the book who was angry upon the mother okay for what for, for the bringing pregnancy. in the bastard in the family for bringing the bastard child the, the bastard so now credo motwa is 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 in two types of trouble now yeah. in his grandfather's home yes he's a bastard Yes. If there's Zanje, umtwana ongabikiwe kibo. He's a yeah. child with no goat yes. on top of their head. Yes. So he's a bastard. Yes. Now in Africa that that renders you to a disadvantage to a certain extent. Yes. Ngoba if kwenzi wizinto like Kaya you are not included. Definitely. Right. So he he's a bastard child. Number two, he's a Christian. <laughs> yeah. In a traditionalist home. Yes. How does he tackle that? Well, I think the person who played an important role, I just I say it is the aunt. Mm. Because of the aunt, remember the power of a woman mm. in okay. everything that you do. <laughs> you can be whatever <laughs> that you feel, but whenever there is there is a feminine spirit there, things become easier. Mm. So according to my understanding, let's forget about the book right now, mm. that the aunt is the one who managed to convince the brother and say check the brother you know and understand the situation of unomapunu mm. that is why my unomapunu has to run away and come back home so that and then this child said to the as a person that we we managed to take him spiritually so let's bring the child and save the child because forget about what the father did and the mother did let's try to save the life of a child because of the father because of the grandfather was the one who captured of the zulu stories mm-hmm. and he was the one who was a traditional healer he knew and so that this is the real man that i can be able to assist let me not for let me forget about what happened and can you remember we, we quickly forgive us african people ah, but forgiveness is the number that's one that's the thing. beauty of it because yes. now you're just making me realize something Uguti, if you can look at 80 percent of abantu abatwasayo even today are people who were either neglected by their fathers Definitely. people who do not know their fathers families because they were never raised by them are people abashushwa isbom people who are looking yeah. for their father's name ikaz and uktwasa becomes a journey back home now you are saying umkulu credo motwa had the very same experience i would say so it's a very same experience typical example as we say abantu abaning before you become accept there are certain things that you have to pass with back testing us so that you can put it remember take us back to the test there are certain things about testing us there's a test in everything yes then as you need to be about on bazo we say about we say at the end uhlangana no muntu ozithela ukuthi no muntu oyise semhlabeni kuba sokuthi umntwana am belenze sona 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 so manga hlanganisa lokho nalokho wayenza kanje wena umntwana edlozi kwa melenze kanje ngoba thina we learn from each other umlayeza uza ngomunye umuntu angifundi nje ngokuthi manje ngizothatha incwadi ngokuthi credit 1001 whatever the errors written here it will reflect to me it will talk to me but mena kumele ngithathe okwemoya ngoba ngumuntu wemoya umuntu omwemoya obeka bhalala that's one thing is 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 that now we believe in the thing enza kalayo not something that is written down that is why no more ngayenzi art it is not your art ngicelisa andla sakho wenze kanje ziyuthuze noma isi mfuna ukufuna ukushaya ngishayelani bo yazi ngukushayelani bafu you are breaking the you are breaking the whole narrative yo bunyanga nedlozi because now mangikulalela uthi umuntu moya ihlushwa idlozi lingamthatha limfake indlelene iningi abe isikheberesha abe isigebengu and do all sorts of mistakes and do wild things in life kanti at the end uzohlangana nomuntu 
that you perceive as useless, yes. that you perceive as below you, below you yes. that you perceive as insignificant, yes. and that person, driven by egos, yes. will be the one to save your life. And Nakona, driven by Isitunya. Exactly. Ah. Moba. โอ้ยอาศัยชาติเนี่ยอย่าได้สิทธิ์ทุนอ่ะไอ้สิคุณแม่งบอกว่าอิมเป็นดูแล้วไอ้สิคุณแม่งบอกว่าอิมเป็น
unpopular opinion. So it's my it's my opinion. Sorry, guys, my boy, I'm sorry. So Tina, Abantu, we don't worship. We connect. But you see, Tandas are in, my idols. The Christians are the ones who, but that Jesus Christ is there. It's an idol. Ah. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. It's a Roman figure. Oh, Lord, hey, Lord. <laughs> we don't do that. We don't have that. No, we don't have that. But now, Tina, what do we speaking do? about idols, what kind of lender? It's full of idols. Those are not idols, my brother. That's yeah. a language to us. Art is a language to an African person. It speaks us in different ways. We don't, we don't see the people Catholics coming. can say the same. Or would you that Jesus is uh, our art? To them, they go and say, Jesus, on the that scripture that, that doll. Tina, we go, it's a language. Mang la pana la typical example that at peace speaks in a typical language between me and you. We don't worship that. Okay. We don't go there and charge it and say, oh, oh, I must speak sako poti. No. We what we embrace the beauty of that of the art. art. That talks to me. It's a message that the guy is relating, that Solomon is relating to me, mm. and you different messages. Mm. That is why we speak using art, mm -hmm. storytelling form. And it's, it's, it's art, is through art, sculptures, art, and storytelling form. That is why it is a culture. No, no, no. It's oral. It's oral. It's and then they will make stories. sculptures. It's, so that it's more like it. Those are the real things. The way I put it at Tumela is symbols with Mel and Tumela Umese Jam Ranch. Mauba, we cannot speak. By, by looking at that, it can speak to you in a different kind of language. Mauba Pume Zambia, we don't understand my name. It can speak to you. I'll figure it out to me and your Chandas and Manga and Roma Ponganesan. Una Mansa beggar the pana in Melchata, a tatata, in the biscuit, I can never beggar the pana. A big father, I did that. We don't do that. All right. So, You've put clarity now on something. Can we connect and the art? Yes. To Egypt, Kemet, and the art. Yes, and the art. We know gods. We're talking about art. It was art. Yes. That as is African what, as tradition. Africans, that is our language. That is the language that we speak about. That is why the symbols, it's art on its own. It's a symbol, but it's an art form. Maui Pegi, it's an art. That is our language. We don't use all these things. It's the less than over eight years old. Zafuka and British missionaries, when they change our form of speaking, especially in Southern Africa, mm -hmm. and we started using these things and saying now everything that we do, it's all about that. No, 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 no. We remember one more time. We connect. Mm -hmm. We connect and embrace and embrace the beauty of the nature itself. What the Creator has done to the universe itself. Remember to us, God is not a man, God is not a woman. Okay. That is why we say about it, not a Because they don't know whether, it's a thing that we don't know which we are with Africa is the land of the gods and the ancestors. Why is it the gods? Because we've got God of fire, mm -hmm. God of water, God of earth, God of dance, God of happiness, God of death. Typical example, let's take um, West Africa for an example. Whenever there is a whenever there is a death, maybe somebody in the family is Mobatina has seen a silo and a but we are shown and gale with Hong. Oh, shock a fit, Ramo shock upon Palette can can who see the moon. Obanoka puts a mini, Namaya hike and a save it's a maiden who says it when you can connect with us. So there is a kind of equality correlation and a new Mokia shock of it thing from the other families. What was I last come to was that everything is a slow, it's more emotional. It's portraying that the death when it's a celebration. That's how, that's the God of celebration. That was the God of dance. That was the God of rain. That is why women are the ones who create the next of those are the gods, the goddess of rain. Remember, we don't have queens in Africa. The name queens came with us. We've got the goddesses, not the queen. We've got the goddess, not the queen. 
Shuti mangtege ti sumfazo amgi tau my queen nyaja lunch. Shukti ni queen. Ateng buzo ni shukti ni queen. The queen aksi opposite the king. E e picking. The king ile outi shala pez go throne e kogin si imbekan. Oh e kogin si imbekan. Kogin si imbekan. Maba we na yourself nje. We in course. Aonga chela ban tu pel. So when you speak about the goddess, my friend, explain the the difference between a queen and a goddess. The queen, the queen, queen, is the queen, the queen, is the person, the queen, 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 Aussi, qui a eu le cachet, a eu le bolet, a eu le cachet, 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 a eu le But you, oh, I'm cool, uncle. Oh, I'm one, uncle. So I'm your uncle, uncle. And then, but you are, but best about the auntie. Oh, 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 auntie. Oh, mama, oh, auntie. So, young kids, it's one thing to us. China, good, it's just because of our language. It's a beautiful language, but a beautiful language that they cannot understand. That they wanted to make it simple so that it can suit them by change against us. And the reason why I spoke about the goddess. Because of, she is the one who takes decisions. She is your God. As a man, because we cannot take any decision without introducing her. You like it or not. No matter what, I'm not from my mind. Who's the one who's going to sing? 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 Who's going to She said, she is your the goddess. Power. She is the power. She is your goddess. When I say you are a king, she is your goddess. She's like, she is your ma, the bigger than everything. Hey. She is a holistic everything. You, you, you're speaking about this African tradition, African culture, and Nyaizwa, let me show you. I, I hear you, it resonates deeply. But here's my question. Kwakaya Lenda is on open Heimer land. <laughs> Now, I was expecting that. My, my, my concern <laughs> here is very deep. We know the open Heimers, right? Yeah. We know that South Africa is in a state that is, it's in today because of the families of the open Heimer, yes. the Ruperts, and all the. Yeah, I, mean them. I don't want to call the group of people because if you call them by <laughs> name, The whole world attacks you as anti what what. I don't want to be labeled as anti. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but the group of the chosen people of God. Yes, yeah, yeah. Credo Motwa obtains land from Oppenheimer. Yes. This is public knowledge. This is not me yeah, exposing knowledge. secrets. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not guilty for saying no, Oppenheimer. No, 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 no. I'm an anti Shilan popular. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So he, he obtains land. He obtains this piece of land on Oppenheimer land. Yes. To build an African heritage village on the land of the very people who are oppressing the very same Africans. Definitely. Cecil John Rhodes, let's go back in history. Yeah. Cecil John Rhodes, uh, a, a British yeah. gentleman, yeah. travels to South Africa discovers mines and everything, the world. Yeah. And then he becomes the richest man in the world. Mm -hmm. Richest man in England, for that matter, Definitely. at some point. Now, John Rhodes, he leaves his wealth to this family. The Oppenheimers. The Oppenheimers. Yeah. Now, these people's wealth and their influence in the mines and in the lands Start from South Africa all the way to the mountains of the moon, Renzori in the Congo, in the Congo, Uganda. Uganda. All this way has been ravished by these people. Definitely. Now, apart it was sponsored by these people. Congo slavery was sponsored by these people. In fact, 
Umabutu, yeah. the dictator of the Congo, yeah. who was paid yeah. by these people. Associate now, make it make sense to me how Umkulu obtains land from these enemies of Africa to build a lasting legacy for Africa. Uh, thanks for asking that question. Because of a lot of people want to know what is happening. Because of remember during the time of apartheid, when things were bad for us, even now things are still bad. Because of you say so you talk about the as sponsored apartheid. They are the ones who are still sponsoring the I, democracy yeah, that we have in South Africa. Yeah, they are still the ones still sponsoring. Still the same people. It's the same people. Four hundred years. Yes, they are still called. Remember, everything is still the same. It's only for the movement that has changed. Uh, what is happening is Credo Mutua. There was this guy by the name of uh, Gilbert Brisco, who was a friend to Oppenheim, mm. who used to work for Parksport. And then they had their offices in Tipkloof, uh, Zone 4, uh, uh, opposite Credo Motor South. So Credo Motor has its own uh, art pieces that they were doing. It's more like he created an open MEV museum okay. in his own house. Okay. So there was this guy who was a black uh, African American brother who came to South Africa, he was a professor. Because I remember because Americans they got the only chance mm. to come to South Africa at the time. So he was reading in Daba, my children. So he, so he was into, into, into a pass, they used to call that pass, uh, the Soviet horse, the green pass that used to come. So the driver of the pass, they used to call Makul Mambazu, which is Mr. Pan, uh, Pandar, Pantonter. Mm. So he asked the Tonter when they were in, in, in Paris, and said, man, there is this guy that wrote this book, can I be able to send because of usually they, had, they were supposed they, they had to report by the public offices. Mm. So he said to him, no, we will go via past Deep Group Lento. There's a guy that I know there by the name of Gilbert Prisco, mm. who can introduce you to Credo Motor because of we have to report anything that we do. Mm. So it, then uh, about Peter Ko when uh, this guy, Gilbert Prisco, Gilbert Prisco, but I mean uh, this guy, but Peter Ko Credo Motor. I wonder Credo Motor shall Spanish. About Credo Motor, no, no. Nah. Kimbinji, the open air, okay. and we shall span the grand. So, Eruko Shakans and open air, Red Ring, and Bolland Land, and the Chola Joa. The reason why I buy the moon, that land is spiritual on its own. Ah. It's a it's unique space. That is why that tower has been done in the center of Soweto. Yes, they had their own decisions. We don't know what is happening because it was difficult for the black person to get the land. I'm still asking myself, what? What are the agreements that they had with Baba that we don't know about? Especially on a piece of land. And especially that on a piece of land. Is special. It's in the center of Soweto. And I've heard people say it's it, it, it magnetically or energetically. And remember, that's a tower, Baba. Yeah. Those are the channels. Those are the channels right in the center. It's sitting in on the an bay. energy point. Yes, right sitting in an energy point. Owned by Oppenheim. Owned by Oppenheim. Given to Credo Moto. Given to Credo Moto. And then they And 99% per, of the plants are, are, are the traditional herbs. And then if you remember, the worker, the family, sorry, 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 I'm not trying to say anything about Baba. Yes, he did good, good things. I'm just trying to share my view and part of my research. Sorry, that was an apology. No, Zippo, Muzwake, Kandal Kul. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so uh, what happened is there are certain things that agreement that they had that we don't know about mm. because of if you, if you do a research around the community day, they will tell that they didn't like that because of it was part because of only white people were allowed to come in there mm. only the white people who would come and do the chores only there after the village you would understand why only the white people were allowed to do that and then the workers of Baba Muntu Sorry, Baba Buntu, of Baba Kredu, were paid by the city parks. Those who were helping Kredu Mutua uh -huh. to build a village. They were never they were not working for the sea, for, 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 for the village. They were not working for, for Lento as part of the government, apart uh -huh. the government, but they were paid by, by the, the system. Their salary came from the system. Okay. That is why when Kredo Mutua left, some of them it was easier to speak to the city park and say, take my people and group them into, into the in, 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 into a department. You bring me to another to another question. But before, let me correct this. When Baba got that land, to him it started to fighting spiritually. 
because we felt it's a special point. It's an energy point. Let me do this so that I can protect this. Mm -hmm. That is why they were. It was more like fighting against the impoverishment of open airmas indirectly. Through their own funding. Yeah, through their own funding. <laughs> you fund me so that I can hit you back. Okay. That's like so it was created and became a problem to them. Because I remember By, so it was. Uh, uh, they said, no, let's dump there. We dump yeah. there. Them there. Uh, so far, so. Yeah, but dump a payan. Gandhi, that dumping there became what? A power to be reckoned with. That made sure that we become crazy in South Africa. But now, let's, 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 let's talk about that Oppenheimer connection. Yes. The community being against how it came about and them questioning Obaba Credo Moto, which leads to the 76 uprisings yeah. and the youth burning down his house, burning down the village. The reasons are different, you know? Yeah. They're the, 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 the very contradicting reasons. Abanye Bati, yeah. the Africans' newspaper or Africans' radio station announced that Obaba Credo said. If the apartheid government could take school children and publicly kill them, it had ten school ten children school children every day. Now, now, if for a week, then that's, that's seven days a week. Seventy children a week, seventy times four a month. If those children can be killed every day, this nonsense of this uprising will stop. stop. Especially because it was fueled by UPO, the Pan-Africanist yeah. Congress. It is, let's say, by the Black Consciousness Movement. The Black Consciousness Movement, movement the yeah. Black People's Convention, yes. the Black Consciousness Movement. Because ANC was never there by Because then. ANC was just a word in people's mouths. Mouth. It was banned. It was banned, it it was was banned by that time. Yeah. They were outside being trigger hit. So today we have this notion of what the ANC won the liberation of South Africa, when PAC ground soldiers, APLA soldiers, were dying in the streets every day, fighting the system. But as a ANC police, Umatala had serious qualms in another book that he wrote here. He had serious, serious problems with the PAC and their views of the liberation of black people and, 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 and how it's supposed to come about. To the support of Unelsin Mandel, which for a topic for another day, we have our reservations. Uh, but listen to this. The ANC, let me start it here. And even if the impossible were to ever happen and a released Mandela succeeded in negotiating peace between South Africa the A and the ANC, the PAC would refuse to recognize that peace and take to the bush and start fighting. And moreover, Mandela would immediately lose credibility and respect in the eyes of the die-hard ANC cadres. They would leave the ANC and go over to the PAC and join it with their weapons. The ANC being a multiracial organization which is forced by its very character or its composition to avoid going all out in its terror campaign against South Africa. The PAC, on the other hand, is a black exclusivist organization that has no such scruples, and from its very inception, it showed an extremism and an ag aggressiveness hitherto unknown in an organization of this sort in South Africa. Now, putting the ANC and the PAC together, he's basically saying the PAC were terrorists, whereas the ANC, hmm, liberation yeah, yes, fighters. You know what? But the previous page, this is now the same yeah. thing. I'm going to give you now to answer this for me because I'm, I'm struck by the previous page on this. Uguti, I say, this is him now, Ubaba Kredo. I say, by all means, Nelson Mandela must be released from prison just as uh, the Southwestern African leader, Herman Amibanda, uh, has been released. Mandela must be released unconditionally if only, underline, if, if only, only as an act of compassion and as an act of calling the radicals bluff. <laughs> what does that mean? Hey. So releasing Mandela to Credo Muto's view to bluff. was a bluff? Yes. Remember, listen to the statement carefully. So 
so that he can bluff the people. The let, radicals, which let, were the let, people let, who were let, fighting let, for their own let, land. Let, let, let's speak about the radicals and ordinary people who were never part of the struggle. Okay. Those who were saying that, you know, we don't follow ANC, we follow our group, but we stand for ourselves. As, as the other people are ordinary, yeah, like... We are next to government buildings. Yeah. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, remember, uh, Kero Muta was a soldier. Mm-hmm. He would come from the force. Okay. During the time of uh-huh. Amabu. Uh-huh. So obviously, for he certain things for him, he, he understand. He was, remember as a soldier, you are, you are trained to what? To, unse, to, 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 to follow the orders. orders. To follow the orders. Though, uh, that, that statement that he shows that there is certain things that he had with the apartheid government that we don't know about. And, he was and just I'm, lucky, I'm happy that I am not the one who says this. The book itself speaks for itself. Okay. Now, that is why the question this, stands that is here, why Uti. most of the uh, 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 Ntanzi, mm-hmm. for him to become, to, be, to become a soldier, it's clear that he put him in the middle For his, his son, Peggy, to become a soldier, it was because of the father. He wanted all of the children to become the soldiers. Mm-hmm. And then we're speaking about what? The apartheid time. We're speaking about the sad up, not the sun up. <laughs> Unpopular question. Baba Credo. Mm-hmm. African activist or African sellout? African activist. Who collaborated? Yeah, well, I would say those times. I mean, that time, we cannot blame him. All of us, we've got our own, our own uh, dark, yeah, dark spaces that we did, but the depends. But well, sometimes you need, you need to survive as a man because of had a big family. In fact, he was caught up into two things. This side is the community. This side is, is, is the system. So for him to survive, he had to be like, Play beat, both yeah, plus like a chess, black and white, become, become gray. Because of black <laughs> and white, take out a gray line. Step one, step one, then we were just talking that line so that for him to survive and for the family to survive. The aim was to protect his family. Not that it did that divarity. So who was Wabon? Wabon is not trying. Everyone's in Choka Mabu. The situation. It was the situation. Yes, it is. And it was for survival. It was for survival. Yeah. How many people that we speak about, if you can be able to blame Ulento, Umkul, what about all? The ANC members, those who were in, in exile, how many children were killed in 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 Quantan, in Babizan, in Quantanama, whatever prison? How many people were killed by Iabalen to Aba Imbogot? Because there was a unit that they called Imbogot in Lento. What I don't know, Chabali, Sekia Chis, in Quatrola, whatever they have to a lot of women. If if I know that I'm about to buy, we'll have to keep a a a Definitely, they know that you won't come back. It's either out of the So they bite by the heart. The person that they're about to eat, they're not My elder was fighting the system spiritually, but for you to fight spiritually, and he said to fight the person, understand the person, so that you can eat the person. That is why if you want, if you want to beat the English people, the white people. Go to the library there, get the to your read about the books and look at their movement, then it's easier because I will understand them. He wanted to understand them more. Buy them so that they can, you can be able to buy them back. That is why the, the so-called priests, the so-called pastors, they are buying us so that we can listen to them. Now, in King Agamanj, last question. With this background of his collaboration and, and his connections, how credible is his African mythologies and his teachings if Gare, he was following orders as a soldier? Yes. He was educated and groomed as a Christian? Yes. There's an element of David Icke, which I want us to touch on later, but... There's that connection that David Icke and all these mythologies mm. of the West yes. that seem to be painted black. Mm. Like Amarasta usually do this. They take the picture of Jesus, yeah. they paint him black. After they paint him black, they put a few dreadlocks on him yeah. and they put ganja in his hand. Yeah. And then they say, no, Jesus was black. Yeah. There's a statue in Gwakaya Lendaba yeah. of a woman 
with three breasts. It's four breasts. Four breasts, and yeah, man. Four eyes, yeah. And and then four eyes. And yeah. there are two dogs at your feet. No, it's a, it's it's not a dog that one. Uh-huh. It's a sheep. Okay. Yeah, king. Okay. Yeah, king. Yeah. I want to understand that mythology because four breasts is usually canine characteristics, and it sounds a little bit Roman. Uh, remember, according to the, in fact, according to Kremot, that that is how it depicts. The u u u nom kubulan ni na banu ma. That's how it's pictured. Hey, uh, but it's decided to put only four breasts. According to him, you are supposed to put a lot of breasts uh, because of that is where everything gets breastfeeded. From. The breasts they go there to breastfeed from the mother from nom kubulan. We human beings, animals, everything we get breastfeeded by what? By the oh, feminine spirit. Oh, beleli. Yeah, yes, na man de bele and de bele. Okay. And that means long. Bele means the breast. Those who can detect water using the teeth of the breast. An African woman can say, I can love a woman as a machine. I can respond to a man. But all African women, especially the virgin girls with the teeth, by sitting down, I'm a teeth as a pain, a band, then Masikopa will get a man by reason. Yes, yeah. All right. So Which is Arabs, Nani. That is why I am saying that the female one is the one that protects and does everything. That is the one that makes sure things go all right. Yes. Aye, just walk along the gabab. Eh, as in Kabangan, yeah, as thirty k for Ganan, it's Puza Mans. Zoshagan, yeah, eh, uh, again, honors to the great Baba Credo Muta, yes. you know, uh, honors to, to the legacy he left for us, the great teachings, the books. Yeah. As you can see, there are many more other books. This is all I could bring today. Yeah, know? we have the Songs of the Stars. Yeah, the... Song of the Stars. And it's there's a lot the of animal, other books. Uh, Zulu India. mysticism. Yeah. Yeah. But now, in honor of, of, of this giant, you know, in honor of this giant, I'd like us to, 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 to point out one thing from your perspective, yeah. from what you feel in yeah. the what is the biggest role of Baba Aizalile in South Africa, in Africa, in the world? One, to make sure that we know and understand, especially as a black child, where we come in from, who we are, even though things were difficult, even though the system tried Ugutibam Teng, but he managed to, to hide some second secret for us to learn upon that and understand where we coming from and where we go as the children of Africa. Internationally, they always suck from us. <laughs> so all of us, we teach them every day. It's not like all of us, I embrace all of us Africans in terms of international because of he's one of the greatest men. There are people who are powerful than him. Mm. Let's, let's embrace that. Yeah, there are. Because of, course of know. now, we all, mm. it's all about Ba 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 ba. Somebody can come and speak about Uman Tumpa. Mm. Somebody can speak about Dr. Sebi. Mm. Somebody can speak about one, but Baba has been made the umbrella. Mm. There are people who are still more powerful than him that are still hidden. That doesn't want to be showcased. That doesn't want to say that. So because of Baba, you are in South Africa and the situation was tough. And in the very same system wanted us to turn against him. Mm. He managed at the end of the day to bring those, those, those walls. And, save and then the most walls. important thing that he did is to make sure that the traditional leaders of South Africa, especially of Soweto, are recognized by the system under the Wishcraft Act, the Wishcraft Act in 1982. Yeah, man. Besides him, we, still have been, we, we were going to be still, still behind. Be so he played an important role to us as the people of South Africa. 
even today. Again, honors to the old men. Uh, we Africans don't believe in death. We believe in continuous existence. But all respect and honor to the elder, you know. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Yeah. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Thanks. Uh, in a few minutes, we'll be back. Sizobona Nagashi. Skubege, Nuntabalue to Nelly Keta of Sama Zoo. Umut, Siabo.